everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Crystal and you are watching Fashion, Beauty and Wine. So today is Wednesday and there's only one thing to do on Wednesdays here at my channel and that's drink wine, drink wine, <laughs> drink wine. Mm -mm. So the wine that I'm going to be talking about today is a 2014 Trousseau. It is produced by the wine company Chateau Etoile, which is produced in Côte d'Azur, which is located between Burgundy and Switzerland. Now this wine is produced on the slopes of Mount Mazur, and again, it's 100% Trousseau. Or Trousseau, aka Bastardo or Chasseau Noir originates from France, but it's a grape that can be found all over Europe. But the largest areas that it's found in is Portugal. Now this wine is usually used to make port wines because of its cherry flavor and its sour candy flavor, along with its berry flavor notes. But in France, they ferment the wine as a regular red wine. So this Chasseau is aged for 10 months in steel vats. It has six to seven days of maturation and basically what maceration is, is the process in which the red wine receives its color. So basically what happens is the producer will keep the skins in contact with the juices. If you've ever looked at a grape, when you break the grape open, the grape is usually clear on the inside and usually the color from the grape is from the actual skin of the grape. So in order to give the wines their color, what needs to happen is that the skins of the grapes need to stay on for about six or seven days during the maceration process. During this process, the wines will have one to two punches of caps per day. And basically what that is, is when the wine is in its juicing stage, it's gonna have all of the solids from the grape, the stem, the seeds, the pulp, the skin. And what happens is when it's in the juicing process, all of those solids will rise to the top. But during the punching process, what the producer will do is push all of those solids back down. And basically what's that, what that does is gives the wine its characteristics and its flavor. Hence the reason why you get barnyard flavors, spices, medium, tannic flavor from this wine. Now, this particular winery, Chateau de Elette, was purchased in 1833 by August Vendel, and it's basically remained within his family um, up until now. Today, Alexander oversees the winery and promotes sustainable practices, so this wine is going to be organic. Generally, typically, wines from France or Italy or anywhere in Europe for the most part are going to be organics because these wineries have been around for hundreds of years. They like to keep the tradition going. So this wine is going to be a light to medium body wine and it has about 11 and a half percent alcohol. Again, you're gonna have barnyard flavors, you're gonna have a leathery taste, you're gonna have spices, a little bit of vanilla taste, and then medium tannics. But then you're also, on the other hand, you're gonna have aromas of red fruit and it's gonna be a light juicy flavor in contrast to the barnyard flavor. So you're getting a great balance of fruitiness as well as earthy um, barnyard flavors. This wine is best served between 59 and 64 degrees Fahrenheit and it can be paired with tart cheeses, smoked meats, grilled sausages, fish, or Chinese food. So just taking a look at this wine, this wine is a very light wine, like if you were to compare it to like a Monte Puciano or whatever. I mean, I'm, I'm shooting at medium fuller body wines, but this color is almost like a dark cherry color and it's translucent like you can see through it. Now this wine is heavier than the wine that I tried last week, which was the Nebbiolo. And it also has a little bit more characteristics than the Nebbiolo, but nevertheless, both great wines. The flavor profiles from each I appreciate, and they're just so different. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope that I was able to bring you a little bit information and bring you a new wine that you may have never heard of, or a wine that you potentially want to try after watching this video. If you found this video informative, please don't forget to press that little like button. 
Also, if you haven't done so, just take a minute to subscribe to my page. As always, I can be found on social media channels like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, so follow me under keywords Fashion Beauty and Wine. Again, thank you for joining me, and peace, love, fashion, beauty, and wine. Bye-bye. <laughs>